After this millennium of cultural and social transformation, the society shaped by the millennial mainstream culture was managed by the, since the 1640s by the great fifth Dalai Lama, 1617 to 682, whose image sits here beside me, and his Gandan Palace Victory Government. Gandan is the Tibetan name of the Tushita heaven, where the Tibetans, which Tushita means satisfaction or joy, where Tibetans believe the future Buddha Maitreya presides over a spiritual community, where the, all of the thousand Buddhas of our planetary era reside before they incarnate on earth. And, we, and Shakyamuni Buddha was only the fourth of those Buddhas. Maitreya will be the fifth. So there's 995 to go. So people should not worry. We will, according to the Buddhists anyway, we will not succumb to nuclear holocaust or global overheating. And we'll be carrying on for quite a long time. The great fifth was believed to be an incarnation of the same celestial Bodhisattva Messiah figure, Avalokiteshvara, or in Tibetan language, Chenresig, who had managed the original, to be the original emperor in the seventh century, that the plateau had been unified and put under management, under his management, was considered psychologically equivalent to would be, what would be the Christian case in the post second coming world, a true new Jerusalem situation where there would be the great good fortune for the lucky chosen nation to be there with their Messiah figure in person rather than waiting for him to return. To ratify this, he marshaled, the Dalai Lama marshaled resources from within and without the Tibetan high plateau, donations of the Mongolians and the Manchus and, all the, and even the Chinese and all of the Asian people who admired so much the Tibetan spiritual achievement, and built and dwelt on the huge Potala Palace, monastery temple seat of government, fully completed in the 1680s after he passed away and reincarnated as the sixth Dalai Lama. For over and continued to reincarnate until, reincarnate until today. For over 300 years, until 1950, the Tibetan polity survived relatively peacefully without any major external invasion or major internal conflict, although there were a few minor ones, protected by the diplomacy of the Dalai Lama's quasi monastic government and under the protection of the Mongolian and Manchu emperors. This balance was briefly disrupted in 1904 by the British invasion. The British left after imposing a one-sided treaty with war reparations to punish the Tibetans for having been invaded in typical imperialist fashion, after which the Foreign Office in London repudiated the treaty anyway, since they didn't want to be responsible themselves for protecting Tibet.